guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, hosting on the Money of Phoenix channel. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how simple it is to use this awesome program called WinX DVD Copy Pro, which is basically a versatile DVD program that allows you to make one-to-one -one copies of your DVD movies, as well as rip it to your hard drive into ISO format or .mpg format for archival use as well. So you go to the website here, there's a link in the more info section, you can read all about it. But let me just go through the software because visual, it makes it a lot much easier to understand than text only. If you have the program installed, make sure you click on the question mark or the help section. There's a really good help section on all the different features with images and text descriptions of what each single feature does within this particular program. So let's run through these real quick here. So I have inserted a movie, Swordfish, and notice that it automatically connected to the internet and got some details on what that particular movie is, which is really great if you're basically ripping your movie to your hard drive for archival us usage. Excuse me. So the first option here is under the full DVD disc backup. So let's say you want to clone a DVD to DVD. Here you insert your DVD like I did. Your target DVD burner, OK. So what this particular option does is basically rips the DVD to your hard drive as an ISO file, and then it burns it to a blank DVD disc that you enter. Pretty easy. Next option is clone DVD to ISO. So let's say you want to do this for archival purposes or watch an ISO movie later on. So that's what you can use that for. Or you could do a copy DVD to video underscore TS folder, and then you can play that folder on your other uh, media devices, Apple TV, uh, Blu-ray player, or you know your Xbox 360, or you know Win um, Windows Media Player or Video Land uh, VLC player, you know things of that nature. Here we have DVD title backup. So let's say you want to copy your movie into one consecutive movie file like a .mpg file so that's what this particular feature is so if I were to click on run here and I already told it previously where to rip the movie it's basically ripping the movie from the DVD while at the same time encoding it to a .mpg file or mpeg file and once that process is done you're good to go to watch it so I'm gonna click on stop here because I don't need to do that right now just give you the basics right there or you want to do a copy DVD chapter so let's say you have a DVD uh, like TV episodes is a good example. Let's say you have a DVD of like The Simpsons. You only want to rip one particular episode. Here you will select your different episodes on the right hand side here. Click on run and then it will rip it to your hard drive for watching later on. Likewise, you could do extract video only or extract audio only for your own specific projects. Here we have these two other tools. One tool is an ISO mounter, so think of that as a built-in daemon tools. So you can mount your DVD movie through this program, and then you can watch your movie through Windows Media Player as an example. And last but not least, we got the DVD burner. So let's say you have an ISO file, and then you want to burn it at a later date, you use this particular function to do that and you're good to go. So that is the video tutorial in a nutshell. I know it's pretty quick, but hopefully that gives you insight on how to use that fantastic piece of program. And thanks to DigiGarity, I have 10 serial keys that I'm willing to raffle off to my viewer base. And you have to basically use the key and activate it before March 30th, 2013. So if you're interested in grabbing yourself a free key, please leave a comment here on the YouTube page um, saying that you're interested in participating and then I will randomly select some users throughout the next couple of days here and send you a link or send you the key through your YouTube address. So once again guys, thank you for watching. If you have any other nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.